Mr. Galvin, the first question I would like to ask you is, as a successful businessman and entrepreneur, what do you believe are some of the key strategies that can be implemented in Macedonia in order to improve the level of market competitiveness? I, th I think your prime minister articulated the architecture for how countries become ultimately successful in writing the rules and determining the regulation that makes the environment for investment most welcome. So all of the issues related to trade, taxes, regulation uh, have to be made as seamless and as frictionless as possible. And there's an intent to do that. Then there's the ability to actually implement it on the ground and make it happen. Uh, improve the ability to educate and develop people because people are the most important asset of a country and of a business. So having conferences like this to inform people as to all the progress that's being made, these are all things that contribute to making a country more competitive. And we've done this in my, my history all over the world in many countries. And I think the policy they're following is quite good. And the second question I would like to ask you is, what was your initial perception on the investment climate in Macedonia, and how has this perception altered after your attendance and networking with people at the summit? Uh, let's see, that, that's a difficult question for me to answer only because this is the first visit for me to Macedonia, even though I've traveled to 50 or 60 countries all over the world and helped numbers of nations actually form their, po their policy of investment and writing their regulation and their telecom regulation and those kinds of things. So this is my first visit here. But it does seem that people have already made quite a bit of progress. Uh, a, uh, a conference like this is indicative uh, that progress is being made. And so uh, this is my first meeting. So I'll have to wait and study and complete the conference before I can really answer that question.